It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without... Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Another code, like we already found. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. I think this is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? The main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. 
A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. wasn't kept then they don't knock there are people here you thought everyone left was gone of course you did now shove off find your own salvage this spot's taken i'm not a salvager i'm a pathfinder we've come to fix all this call me clancy pathfinder huh like that changes much the nexus just can't let eos go can it however much it fails down here i'm tracking a signal that will help eos i only need power for the antenna Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Is it smarter to hide and hope, or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. be a scannable interface on the power pylon. This analysis generator interface possible, location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager.
something about the CAD. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, <laughs> here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, you better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Actually, with enough sensory... We're already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Those things must be talking about the cat. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first cat ambush on Site 1. The cat scouted them out.
Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. They didn't know what they ran for. They weren't told. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. What do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components.
Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. No good. A forward station should have the access code once we call it down. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
Switch to six wheel drives. It'll get you up there in a snap. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Cora wanted to check in with you.